Hi, I'm Martin Murray. You're watching Vision for Dreams TV. Make sure you subscribe. with Vision for Dreams TV. We're here today with Martin Murray, British professional boxer, and we're here to chat with Martin just about his career, his early days, and any inspirational messages he can give to you young people. Martin, thanks for joining us. So talk to us about your early days. Was boxing something you always wanted to do? Yeah, it's something that I've done from being seven. The area where I grew up in St. Helens was, was, it's a big boxing community. And um, yeah, I went from seven and I've, I've stuck with it ever since. Great. And you mentioned uh, on your website as well, your family give you a lot of inspiration. Do you actually look up to anyone else in boxing? Um, yeah, I, I, I look up. There's not, there's not really any boxing um, professionals out there who I really look up to. Um, it's more people inside my team who do a lot of work for me, like my trainer Oliver Addison and me, my manager Neil Marsh, and just a lot of people within me in my team. They're the people in boxing who I, who I look up to. Great. What would you say was your most challenging fight? Um, I'd have to say the last one, um, fighting Sergio Martinez in uh, Argentina, the fact that nobody gave me a chance and I was a massive underdog and everybody was writing me off and you know it was very hostile over there and just the old Argentina experience and, and fighting him, he was a pound for pound king, I'd say that was my most challenging fight. So looking at where you are today, did you ever think that you would actually get this far when you were very young? Um, not really, no, um, because I went through a... I went when I got to like seventeen, eighteen. I went through a a, a bad time. Um, just went completely off the rails, and I didn't think that I'd ever, I'd ever uh, end up getting back into my boxing. But you know, with hard work and and determination, uh, I carried on working. Um, turned professional, and yeah, with a great team, um, I've got a Ramu, and with the hard work we've all put in, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to be here, and, and and I can't believe I'm here, but. Um, did I think I'd actually get here? To be honest with you, no. But um, like I said, I've got a great team behind me, and I'm uh, I'm happy that I am in the in this position that I am in. Yeah, lots of support. So, what are your goals for the future? I may obviously want to be uh, become world champion. I've challenged for two now, and uh, they've both been away. Once in Germany, and I got a draw, a close, to, you know, a very close fight, and once in Argentina, and uh, I got beat in a fight a lot of people thought I should have won. So. That's the next step for me, just 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 being a world champion. Um, I want to be the first world champion from St. Helens. Um, yeah, and I just want to keep being involved in big fights and just being able to better better the lives of uh, of myself and my family. So just looking at your life and obviously how far you've come, what inspirational messages would you give to some young people that would like to follow in your footsteps? Um, just work hard. It's it's all about working hard. You you know you you don't get anything for free. If you, if you want things in life, you've got to work hard for it, whether that be in, in a sport you do, training hard, or whether that, that being in, in a job that you're picking, going to university or, or anything, you know, you've got to prepare, be, be prepared to, to work hard. And if you, if, if you put the hard work in, you will get there.